last episode, we explored GIGTK, a package providing Haskell bindings to the GTK library, and noted in the end that the programming style was imperative and object-oriented. In this episode, we'll program in a more functional style, using GIGTK declarative. Our goal is to build a to-do list application in the style of to-do MVC, using GTK and a functional programming style. The application will not have all the features included in to-do MVC, but hopefully enough to demonstrate how GIGTK declarative is used. We're starting out with the Cabal file, containing a stanza for the to-do GTK application. It's missing a few dependencies, so let's begin by adding those. In addition to the GIGTK bindings, we add GIGTK declarative and the GIGTK declarative app simple packages. We'll also use text and vector. Finally, the declarative GTK packages use threading, which requires the executable to be linked with the threaded runtime of GHC. We add the dash threaded flag to the GHC options of to do GTK. Okay, our Cabal file is in good shape. Let's head over to the main module and start building the application. Before we start thinking about to-do lists, let's get a hello world example up and running. We need to import the GTK bindings from GAI GTK, and we do so with an import qualified as GTK. This module contains all the widget types, signals, and functions that we need from GTK. We also import GI GTK declarative, and GIGTK declarative app simple. GIGTK declarative defines the layer that extends GIGTK with declarative capabilities. The app simple module provides an application architecture based on a state reducer inspired by the PUX framework in PureScript and earlier versions of the Elm architecture. When using the app simple framework, we need a state type and an event type. We use the unit type for state. Our event data type has a single constructor called closed, which will emit when the application window is somehow closed by the user. In the main action, we construct an app and use run to start the application loop. The app type is provided by the app simple framework and requires us to define a few things. The update function transitions from the current state based on an event to another state. It may also exit the application using the exit constructor instead of transition. The view function renders the current state as a window widget. Inputs is a list of pipes producers emitting events that feed into the state reducer loop. This is useful to emit events at regular intervals or to plug in external sources. The initial state is the state value that we begin with. We'll need two functions, view prime and update prime, that we'll define shortly. The inputs list is empty and the initial state is unit, the only possible value. To get this to type check, we define the view prime and update prime functions at the top level using typed holes. By doing so, we pin down the specific state and event types of the application to run. Okay, let's begin by defining the view function. We ignore the state, which is always the unit value. The top level widget must be some type of window, and we'll use the regular window widget in GDK. In the object-oriented style, we'd create the window using new, and the type of such an action would be IO of GTK window. In the declarative style, we instead use a function called bin, taking a widget constructor, a list of attributes, and a child widget. This is a pure function, returning a value of type widget of event. Just as in the previous screencast covering GIGTK, we use the overloaded labels, overloaded strings, and overloaded lists language extensions.
we leave a typed hole for the child widget. First, we're going to add an event handler to the Windows list of attributes. We want to connect it to the delete event signal, which is emitted when the window is closed. When that happens, we want our program to terminate. The on function takes a signal label and the event handler. The exact type of event handler depends on the signal, as GTK callbacks have different type signatures with varying number of arguments and return types. You can read more about these types in the GI GTK declarative documentation. In the case of delete event, the event handler type will be a function from the underlying GDK window event to some return type. GC tells us it's a tuple of bool and event. The bool value is used as the return value of the underlying GTK callback which decides if the event should be stopped from propagating to other handlers. The event value is the one emitted by our declarative widget. We stop the event from propagating and emit a closed event. Next, let's fill the child widget hole. We declare a GTK label widget using the widget function. This is similar to bin, but it doesn't accept any child widget. Our view function is done. Let's implement the update function. We don't care about the unit state value, and we only have one possible event. When the closed event is emitted, we exit the application. That's it. We can now run our application. When we close the window, the program exits. Mm -hmm.